Because we did that, we sweet boy. We <laughs> hold up. Ass. Come on. I've, I've, I've had my I've had my fair share of artists that have been blessed to work with in the studio. You know, as a session musician, you know, and some people produce music for them. Me, I've been an artist also on another side, but also being a music producer also on another so side. So, which one do you want to do more? I mean, helping people produce the best of music, or do you want to? More, yeah, yeah more, definitely more of myself. I, I have an album to my credit. I'm working on my second album, you know. But uh, putting myself in other musical situations keeps it fresh. I, I do Afro jazz, African music, and jazz music. And uh, the amazing thing about my music is that I can layer anything on top of it. So from EDM to R&B to funk, you know, I can go as far back as the 1920s and jam it with, you know, African music. But also working with these guys, you know, trying to be a part of their music also keeps me grounded. You know, keeps me on my toes that you know you have to learn more you know so mm. yeah we you were watching your video there we got the sense that you have a band yes i do i actually like yeah i have a band i have a, uh i i do a trial uh, just me a bass and drums sometimes and i do like a nine-man band you know uh the clip we watched there from my album launch you know two years ago and it was amazing so i feel like I, I don't know how to play with the cd uh, it, it's not in my blood I, 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 can't, I can't do it. I can't say DJ track two. I I will. Play. <laughs> I don't. I, I I can just. I will just play with my guitar and just sing. You know. So mm-hmm. it's a pity you didn't bring your guitar. Oh yeah, with you because you would have had like, to you sing know, us so out. Like said before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So this is the first quarter of 2017. Yes. Mm-hmm. What are your plans for the rest of the year? Uh, I'm sure you have big plans. Oh yes, amazing plans. Uh, uh, <laughs> Family in concert. Uh, June 2017. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I've been praying. I've been waiting. This has to happen. And long. Where is that going to be in Lagos? Uh, in Lagos. Okay. Uh, yes, it's going to be in Lagos. And uh, me and my team, we are really working out on, you know, trying to put the details together. But definitely, the concert is happening this year. So that's actually the one of the biggest things I'm doing this year. And also, I'm working on my second album. Uh, a single came out of the second album called Ife that I released uh, just a month ago. You know, and uh, it's been doing well. So that's going to the concerts, and I'll be doing something called the Family Live Session. So basically, uh, I'm in a studio space where I have my fans just sit on the floor on the pillows, and that intimate, you know, feel and everything. You know, I've, been, I've done two. Uh, I'm going to do another one next month. So it all leads to the concerts. You know, in June. Okay, hold on. Family live session. Family live session. How yeah. many of your fans here are sitting with you? I can have studio? like 30 to 40 people just sit there in, in the same in the room, you know, at the same time. Well, I mean, how long does it last? Uh, two hours, three hours. It depends on, you know, just and, 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 I can, and you're I can telling think. them stories. Yeah, I'm telling them stories. Mu- and, you know, music. stories of, yeah, uh, through music. Uh, you know, if I, before I play a song, I tell them what inspires the song, what I was doing when I was writing the song. And uh, people can just say, oh, can you play this song? I say, okay, sure. I can play this song. So when you wrote Ayo, what are you thinking about? And I'll tell the story. Then I'll play the music. I think people can relate more to that on that intimate feel, you know, other than just performing and just, you know, it's a great time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you say you're a multi instrumentalist. Instrumentalist. Yes, yes. But you chose the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Why, be, be, beyond the, the mystery of the mm-hmm. guitar sound, why would you let go of a keyboard that seemed to give you more room? Mm-hmm. More room to express? Well, I, I would say... I might the, the word seem to give you... Yeah, room. okay. Um, I love the complexity of the guitar. You know, it's very, very challenging uh, for me. So, uh, for me, the keyboard is very, it, it's very easy to play. I started playing the keyboard around 97. You know, I play it, it's not like I don't, but there's something about the tone of the guitar. It can cry when you bend it, it can be very subtle, it can be very, very warm, and it can be very, very metallic, you know, as much as you want to make it sound. So, is this the yeah. person you're describing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. guitar, yeah. Well, well, we have to go now. So, if you have a word for the young and coming, and even the older musicians mm-hmm. out there, what would you say? I would say keep doing what you do, put God first. I know it might sound like a cliche, you know, but you know, God is definitely the ultimate. So put God first, keep working, definitely you'll get there by God's grace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Femi, Leia, music scientist, sorry, food scientist.
Yeah, I like the Yeah, I like the Yeah, I like the music. Yeah, I got music. Thank you. Too, you, know. you never know. <laughs> thank you very much. So that's our package for today. I want to thank you for letting us be a part of your morning. It's been exciting. I want to thank those that sent in their tweets, their comments. Funsho, Asolo, Nancy, Luke Man, Ipmosa again. Uh, Damilola, thank you. I'm Neota Igwe. And I'm Alero Edu. Happy weekend and see you next week. Bye -bye.